Well, we aren't into any turkeys so far, but I think I found an oyster mushroom. I tried to do like a quick search for it online while I was up here, but the internet is pretty slow, so I'm going to take it home with me just in case it's a good one and then properly identify it back at the house. But if that's an oyster, that's a pretty good find, and I got another one about half as big. What a roller coaster of a season it has been. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, um, I was turkey hunting yesterday and I found a honey hole full of big yellow morels. They're a little bit dry, but they're still really edible. I fried a bunch up last night and ate them and they were delicious. I was turkey hunting this morning and I was lucky enough to find an oyster mushroom. I spent about an hour reading making sure that this was an oyster mushroom. They don't have much of a stem. The stem that they do have is solid and the, uh, the gills on this thing are forked up at the top. It grows in shelves, it grows on wood. There's no poisonous lookalikes in Missouri anyways. Um, and it has a whitish color. The bigger it gets, the browner it gets is what I read. And a lot of them have like a smoother uh, cap, but this one is kind of wavy and, and that's normal in some of them. Um, there's two things I'm gonna do to this oyster mushroom. It is way too big for me to eat in one sitting. And I'm gonna fry it up, you know, so egg wash, flour, salt, pepper. I'm gonna do that with about half of it. The other half I'm going to uh, boil for about three minutes and then freeze it because that every, everything I read said that any mushroom that you freeze you want to at least partially cook it first because it locks in some of the flavor so um, we're going to boil this thing for about three minutes and then freeze it and it'll come out later for soup stews or maybe even to fry again who knows. Um, I'm going to save you guys the uh, long time it's going to take me to individually cut and bread all these mushrooms and I'll check back in with you when we're frying. All right, so the only prep work that really went into this mushroom is that I took and soaked it in salt water for about 45 minutes, just a little bit of salt, a little bit of cold water, uh, in order to kill any bugs and stuff that were in there. I then took and cut the stem, that's what this is, out of this one and the little one, and then I cut it in half. This is going to be what I boil and freeze. This is going to be what I cut into thin strips and fry. Morels are just about done cooking. And so I'm fixing to bread and fry this oyster mushroom. Now, I cut it into pretty thin strips. And I'm just going to put all these in an egg wash, flour, salt, pepper, and then into the fryer until that flour turns golden brown. And then we will give these things a little bit of a taste test. These things just came out of the oven. I'm going to give them just a second to cool, and then we'll put them to the taste test. I've been snacking on morels, so... <laughs> they got some big shoes to fill. All right, so we have what I, what I hope, I'm pretty sure, is an oyster mushroom. I've never actually tried one of these before, so it's going to be a pretty honest reaction. I cut them really thick because with the morels, they're so thin that a lot of the breading kind of overrides the flavor. And I didn't want that to happen with these, so let's jump into it. Pretty good mushroom. The skin on these has a little bit of a texture to them. I wouldn't call it tough, but it's there. The flavor of the mushroom is actually really good, though. Very mushroomy tasting mushroom. Pretty good. I honestly, the little pieces of dryad saddle I had the other day, which I'll link that video here, I think rank higher than this oyster mushroom. Now, I may have an older one that's not as tender. That younger one that I had with it, maybe I should have fried it. But all in all, it's a pretty good mushroom. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you like the video. Drop a comment if you've got a better way to prepare these than I did. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will catch you in the next one.